this is all in our hands. We've just got to sit down, get to, get to work, and do what we know works to use the democratic institutions to reshape the communities in which we live. Jay's insanely smart. Uh, he's a, a great uh, communicator. Um, he's very analytical um, in how he thinks and strategizes to get to uh, an end point and execution. I know Jay uh, from being a student at Hendrix and with my work here at Chico Elementary through the Community Schools Initiative. Uh, we are just very grateful uh, for him and what he's been in my life uh, as a friend, as a political advisor, uh, but a great servant leader here in the city of Little Rock in the state of Arkansas. Uh, and when you're down uh, in the trenches, uh, you want a Jay Barth on your side. He's committed to the work that he does. He lives it, he breathes it, he does it. And those are things I admire of people who are committed to the cause of justice and equity um, and wanting to see a better future for everyone. To truly take a vision, uh, embed his own uh, real life experiences as a professor, as a former state board of education commissioner, but also knowing the true needs of the Little Rock residents and our school students. And so he was able to really take us to the next level uh, with our community schools model. Um, I think what motivates Jay is that he wants to see a better quality of life for all Arkansans. And in order for that to happen, you've got to be part of the process. You can't just talk about it, you've got to do it. We know today you know, that the future leaders of the city of Little Rock will have the imprint of a Dr. Jay Barth. Uh, because of his work that he's been able to do with our community schools model, with our summer reading program. Uh, he's been an advocate for school-based health clinics, obviously the work here in the city of Little Rock with community schools and the Little Rock School District, and also ensuring that young people are active in their community. Jay ex expects more from the state of Arkansas. He expects more from the city of Little Rock, and that tenacity of more is what makes Jay Jay. We know that to have a strong city, we need to have strong public schools. Um, so having someone like Jay who champions public education um, brings not just credibility, but it brings some passion to the work um, and shows that when you have people who understand the value, this work can be transformative. And so I think having him as kind of the, the leader of this work, as the first chief education officer, it definitely set a foundation for us to build upon. Jay. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and the work that you've achieved and you continue to do for the state of Arkansas and Arkansas State Capital City, Little Rock. Jay, thank you for all that you have done to serve the children and families here in Arkansas. At the end of the day, you know, my real goal is seeing not just the survival, but really the thriving of traditional public education because American democracy is so dependent upon traditional public education uh, being this place where kids of all backgrounds, religious differences, political differences, socioeconomic differences, all coming together in the same place, learning from one another just as they are all learning. It started, um, of course, with me as a teacher. Um, I, you know, really found my calling in the classroom. That's. That's really what I'm supposed to do. That's where I'm. That's where I'm at my best. And I fell in love working on education policy when I was working with Senator Paul Wellstone, and that ultimately led to me, you know, getting the opportunity to serve on the State Board of Education, uh, and I think doing some good work there. Although there was some challenging work, uh, I did that at some challenging times, and then uh, then got this great opportunity to be the. Uh, inaugural uh, Chief Education Officer for the City of Little Rock, the city I love, where I think there is just tremendous opportunity to use schools as vehicles to transform not only kids' lives, but the lives of the communities. What I came to see was that if we were going to change student outcomes, we had to change those neighborhoods, we had to empower the parents who lived in those neighborhoods so that those experiences that students spent a lot more of their time in than they did in the school rooms were transformed as well. Um, it's been an honor to serve this community and this state. I hope that none of us are done yet in doing what we can to reshape 
schools and the lives of our community.